There we go. Oh man, I can't wear headphones for too long. Like it hurts the top of my head for some reason. <laughs> Yeah. It's built like what? <laughs> now they get like that. Yeah, it is built like that. I got that head, that head. Oh. Starting with? I think yes. we're good. Yeah, we're starting with daily routing. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's actually perfect. And then yeah, Graham. I don't know the set. Like I have it on my phone, but we've appended and. Just instead, instead of switching to just like Bumbelly, that's it. That's the only Okay. That's but the then what thing. instead of Bumbelly just at the bottom of the list is no longer there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it in the fucking chat still? Yeah, it's in there. Remember no calamity. Oh yeah. Crazy. No, it's not that. That's, that's just, just something. Okay, okay. Well, then, are you going to just tell us that? Yeah, you can just introduce the songs, too. Right? Yeah, just introduce it. But I need to know beforehand so I can get it set up. My instrument set up. I can't hear anything. She just said. I can't hear anything. No, she said with it. Notification sound. That's very true. <laughs> just thinking about it's gonna be behind this. <laughs> yeah, just don't, remember. Don't think about it. Never, never reference it. CFRU is live from our vinyl library. Today we are here with Amazing Experiment. They're going to play a couple songs for us. We'll do an interview and then they'll play us out. Please enjoy.
CFRU is live uh, here in our vinyl library. We have Amazing Experiment. They just played a couple songs for us. That was super cool. Um, how was that? Great. It was great. Yeah, it's great. I can't see anything. You can. <laughs> great fun. Can't see anything. Those are checking a lot of boxes. Um, awesome. Well, uh, could I get you each to introduce yourselves so we know who is playing what? Hi, I'm Hunter. I play the drums, form also known as a, a triangle in the band. So, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I'm Callum, uh, also known as Dendal Crazy. Uh, I do Michael Bebob also on the side <laughs> as my side job. Um, yeah, I do a lot of writing for the band, and I also play the synths and the lead solos. My name is Graham. I. Uh, Glenn Pump. That's yeah. That's that's what I'm called, and uh, I do all the all the yelling at people, but there's no people around to yell at, so I'm just silent today. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'm Jake, and uh, I'm also computer Tom. Computer Tom, and uh, I do the talk box in the group, I guess, as of very recently. <laughs> uh, that's and new. yeah, and I also do a lot of like the graphic design stuff for the group. I think it's kind of yeah. my other main thing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask about that because we were chatting earlier and this is, yeah, so this is your first day using the talk box. Yes. Ba baby's first talk box performance. Oh, yeah. You sound like a pro already. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I also, oh, I should probably introduce her. Well, Soph and I were having this conversation earlier and I realized I've literally never introduced myself on like the dozens of interviews <laughs> that we've been doing for the past several months. My name is Amara Shepard. I'll be interviewing you today and I'm also here with... Hi, I'm Soph. And I'm here with Mara. So if might be asking a couple questions as well. Um, well, we're really excited to have you. Um, and thanks for introducing yourselves and, uh, and for, for playing uh, those first couple songs. Um, you all started in the summer of 2023. Is that right? Yes, yes yeah. that is correct. Yeah. That go down in the books is like a good year. Do you think? Sporadic. Had Sporadic. Ups and downs, but Back yeah, and forth. Was good. Yeah. Swings and roundabouts. I actually think um, I would... I'm actually just going to pretend like I didn't ask that question because um, I want to start with a different question. So uh, please erase that from your memory. All right, um, you got it. That's I would actually right. like to ask you this icebreaker question. Um, if you had a third arm, would you like for it to be like a little baby arm or would you like for it to be like so long it's a little bit inconvenient? Where is the arm? That can be up to you, but I also, I always kind of felt like it was like for me personally, like I feel like it's coming out of like like my stomach kind of area, you know, like what? under my other arm. Oh, well, if it's going to be somewhere like that, I would say baby arm. Baby arm? Mm. Ew, then like, but then nobody <laughs> knows until they know. Yeah. But then but when you they can know, have another it's sleeve like, for it. It's a not as bad as like a long I mean, appendage. Want, can I have it like coming out of my shoulder like Machamp from Pokemon? Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> yeah, I think in that case I want the long arm. I want the little baby one on my forehead so it can oh, like yeah. on the forehead. Like scratch my face if I need it. And then yeah, you would down. never need a headlamp again because you could practical. just have your tiny baby arm holding yeah, a light all the time. Exactly. That's a great it can, idea. Like, yeah. It can hold practical, a cigarette baby. if I want to pick up smoking or something. Does, <laughs> it, does, does a tiny baby arm have like the the movement capacity of an adult or is it like a like it functions mm. like a baby because it, it, well, it has your brain this. your brain is but i feel like so if it it's a baby, like a baby arm like i don't know that it has the same fine mm. motor skills because mm -hmm. i'm picturing just like a pudgy little michelin tire like looking <laughs> arm yeah. you know what i'm saying mm. probably somewhere in between yeah but if you're making consistent use of it surely mm. surely well, maybe does, baby it, does it grow up yeah can it get buff yeah, like, because if it's it on your out? head, if it grows up and it's on your head, that would start to suck. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, a lot. You get a jack neck. Um, yeah, yeah let's say let's say in this world, like you turn, like you become a legal adult at the age of eighteen, and you just like sprout a little baby arm, <laughs> and then from there, like it grows. As if puberty wasn't hard enough. Oh, yeah, and then you have an <laughs> arm on your forehead. I think personally, I would like to have um, a like almost inconveniently long one um, coming out of like my torso. Um, I just feel like that's way more useful than having a baby arm. 
Like yeah, babies you, don't use those. You but described it. Away. You described it as inconveniently at yeah. the beginning. Yeah, yeah but I'd rather it be inconvenient and useful to a degree than like just there. Yeah. You what, know? what if it was coming out at like the point where your neck and back meet, and it's the long one, and so you can oh. use it as like a crane? Oh, my posture like, would be great too, because it would always <laughs> be like. Oh, my posture is like already horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll just yeah I'll just have like a like a like a hunch, or I'll be all the way back, one or the other. What's the first thing you're doing with your new third arm? Um. Please. I'd take the baby arm by my hip, <laughs> hold my spare change. Your spare <laughs> <laughs> Does it have its own little coin purse? It's just holding it. Oh, it's just holding it. Yeah. That's kind of gross. Yeah, I'd exactly. teach it gang signs immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, I'd I get it which ones. Can hold two out. coffees and yeah. throw some signs. I'd yeah. get it to. I'd get it to hold the the hose for my. Talk. <laughs> So that I don't, mm-hmm. so that I don't have to. I, I could play with both hands. That would be thing, nice. This thing gets slippery. I, I'd look at the removal process immediately. <laughs> what? You wouldn't you're, want a you're, third you're, arm? You're a drummer, like, Dunty. What I are you talking like about? I've made it with two. This, but imagine, this imagine far. how you. If could you do... were an, a drummer with three arms, like you would just surpass every other drummer to I, have ever oh, yeah. existed. Hack, a phony. You could get you to like <laughs> Neil Peart levels, man. You could have like the man. whole roundabout, like don't they don't have in Russia. You could, you could finally play the. Drum tracks that Callum actually writes. Yeah, yeah. you know what? <laughs> actually, yeah. the only yeah. fir- the only function it serves is playing Callum's tracks that he's. So doing. it's your dream to have a third arm. Then, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I uh, I don't know I think my I would just I I like to rock climb and I think that um oh, yeah and I play idea. I play piano as well so I think having like I think those would be the first two things mm. that I would do and like. I don't know, maybe push-ups or something. I feel like maybe those would be easier. <laughs> yeah, push-ups would be great. See, this yeah. all like, sounds, like, sounds like cheating to me. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's my arm. A biological advantage, man. Yeah, And exactly. what about it? Yeah, exactly. Now, hold on. If you're trying to get into the Olympics, do they create, like, a new Olympics for oh. people with, like, like a biological, like... Advantage. Yeah. Like the, the well, Super Michael Olympics. Phelps also has biological advantages. He has, like, two freakishly long arms, and, like, he doesn't produce a lot of lactic... Ad- like, well, he also Yeah, so has... he can move up into that one, then. Do you yeah, think so? Put him yeah, in that one. I think he's super retired, yeah. but him and his nine foot long arms. Yeah. yeah, I could be Michael Phelps if I had a third arm. I think mm-hmm. I could beat him honestly. I think, I think you'd drown immediately. What, but my <laughs> how? I think you could tread water. Even what do you more think my arm is full of? Do you think it's full of rocks? It's an arm. <laughs> yeah. A long one. Why are you so against having a down. third arm, I mean, dude? I, I was like so no matter, excited to interview you, and I'm like starting to question I things now. I feel like now. no matter where you place it, it's going to reduce your aerodynamic, like, like no, sort of shape. No, but if it's propelling it, you, exactly. Or it's a rudder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, rudder. Yeah, get the you baby arm as a rudder. Okay, okay, you're a boat person. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're a yeah. boat person. The first one to ever live, I'll have you know. You get all four of the other limbs. Some respect on my name. Somebody get the Guinness Book of World Records around here right now. Well. That's good. It also it also makes me think about um, another band came. I don't remember who was it. Oh yeah, it was Boo Radley Project came in mm-hmm. and I asked them. Uh, but Matt Matt is here and and now I can actually reference him while he's here. Uh, he's not in the room. He's in uh, the production studio doing the mixing and stuff. But I know. Yay, Matt. he asked me the other day if um, oh like how many gnomes I thought I could take in a fight, oh, and geez. like. A great question. However, I think that how many geese you could take in it. There's Matt. Hi, Matt. Uh, how many geese you could take in a fight is like way more interesting. It's more practical. Personally, a goose jumped more practical. Me a, a goose jumped me in a dark alley one time. Oh, really? Sorry. I hope this isn't traumatic for you. Straight up and not a lie. Did he like take your wallet or? <laughs> no, I just ran. Well, his baby hand was holding all the spare change, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah they don't know about the baby hands. Yeah. <laughs> I think, well, because this is my this is my strategy, I think I could take four geese at once. Why, you ask? Well, mm. I think that two of them would run at me, and I would grab them with both of my hands, and then I would use them like nunchucks for the other two. Right. But, if I, had a, but so. if I had a third arm, I could ah. take, like, I could probably take two more geese. You mm. probably could. Like, what about, how many geese do you think you could take, so? Oh, geese are kind of scary and they hiss. And so I feel like I'd be at a disadvantage because of my size as well. I think mm. um, maybe maybe two geese confidently. Really? Confidently two, two geese. Confidently two geese. Yeah. And you can answer if you'd like to answer as a band too. <laughs> like all four of us? Let's say yeah. you can use, let's say, and I told Boo Radley Project they didn't have any weapons, but let's say you can use your instruments to beat them off. I think um, I could probably scare them with the... <laughs> First line of defense. Oh yeah, yeah. hit him with one of those. I want to see how Hunter would use a drum kit in a, in a fight <laughs> yeah. against. I got the like sticks. I can. Uh, He's got some use. discuses. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Chop off mm-hmm. the goose's kind of head. You just gotta start thing. start throwing frisbees like or yeah, throwing that? symbols like frisbees. Yeah. The neck's a big target. Guy with the hat. Uh, 
Anyways. Symbols like frisbees would be deadly. Uh, yeah. I feel like we play Lethal. our kind of music, then they might just run away on their own. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, speaking of your kind of music. <laughs> this is how I'm going to do my best to like Six transition segment. into it. I feel awesome. like wow. I feel like I feel like any other conversation that we have like all, like going forward from this point is not going to be as interesting to me because I only want to talk about like hypothetical like geese fights and like <laughs> hypothetical all we like their... <laughs> yeah. I got some I got some yeah. good ones for you for later. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Callum, how did you get started making music? Oh, man. Me oh my. Well, I think I I think the very beginning, I was probably like five or something. Before your baby arm came in. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Way before. And I, <laughs> uh, I like drawing, and then I drew a, a picture of a, of a song or so, I like I drew the notes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but okay. I, I drew them in Staff based music? off of like what I thought looks coolest. I think I wasn't going off of whether it would sound good at all. Yeah. Super abstract. <laughs> um, and then yeah, and then my dad plugged it in for me and uh plugged it what like he we skipped a lot of steps i think <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> yeah I'll, I'll wind it back so he he basically took my notation mm -hmm. and he put it into a uh like a f finale file or something like that and it it didn't sound like garbage um okay. and then i thought i was like i thought i was a god basically god. yeah how old were you oh you said five i was some around i was very young i was just drunk. you're a prodigy are you well i mean also both your parents like studied music um, yeah they met at music oh, school okay so, that helps. so you're a nepotism baby <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's what we're hearing <laughs> yeah. you heard it here first nepo yeah, from, from the tuba playing nepo bebop <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 nepo bebop there. baby arm yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a mouthful uh yeah and then That's the truth uh, though that was just like that was like a one-off thing and then i was playing you know i was playing piano and mm -hmm. other stuff related to that um related to piano yeah like other... as in harpsichord as in no no like it, things that remind you of instruments and stuff oh okay <laughs> like a tissue box with like rubber bands on it or mayonnaise i never got into the tissue box yeah but uh you could get jug bandy uh, yeah. jug bandy you put a well, slug in a wallet once Okay, well, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> on it wasn't musical, but it's a good story. Would you like to share with the class? Uh, Is there much more to the story than the fact I that you just it. like found a slug and put it in a wallet? Well, okay, so you know you have the wallet <laughs> I this. that has a little ID pouch and it's clear? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, basically, I, I okay, so uh, my dad gave me a wallet because he's like, oh, I'm throwing this one out here. Here you go, son. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, I've got a... Got my own wallet, so I can do stuff with it. And I was like, fortune. this is a great opportunity. Like, now I can yeah. watch... Uh, okay, I can watch a slug die in the <laughs> viewing pouch. In the viewing pouch! In the viewing pouch. It's now called the viewing yeah. pouch. Yeah. This is some Roman, like, era You got a torture. wallet and immediately started treating I'm it like a, a scientific... I'm not, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like not a psychopath. Yeah, like a crazy. zoo containment unit. Yeah. yeah. Torture yeah. chamber out yeah. of a wall. Yeah. Oh my God. So I, you know, sprinkled a bit of salt. And oh, oh my God! Wow! You knew okay. what you were doing. How Genuine old were you? Torture. I, this I this was like two weeks ago. This was, this oh my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> it was on that how to eat it's fried worms <laughs> kind of beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, how old were you? Like five? I think it was two weeks after I wrote that first song. And, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot going on in my mind at that point. It's a good thing you yeah, stuck clearly. with the music instead of the science. Yeah. 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 That, was first, that was his first wallet too. Yeah. yeah. Your first wallet and a, and a slug ago. died in it. It's haunted. Yeah. I've never it seen is. a haunted wallet before, but how you long did you it. keep the wallet? <laughs> The oh, money. way too long. <laughs> like I kept it for way. It was crusty. And yeah, oh. I know you did. Did you uh, keep the slug in there also? Did you give him a proper well, I, burial? Like it, I you couldn't take really, it out. It was like oh my God. At that point. How yeah. undignified. How did you get your? Did you, was your ID like covered in slug and salt? I I think I was five. I, I think I had a YMCA <laughs> ID. I don't think I was really <laughs> moving around card, that yeah. much. But um, yeah, I kept it for way too long, mm -hmm. uh, and then eventually I like cut it up into a bunch of pieces and threw okay. it out. All the right. wallet, not the slug. I'm not crazy. Oh, okay. Okay, well, good to know. Okay. Good clarification. I mean, you, you did, like, watch the slug die slowly. Mm. I feel like cutting I, it up is, like, a half step further. I did, and then I realized how sad it was, and I threw it away. Uh, and, like, oh. You threw it away. Did you at least say some words? Yeah. Uh, was the slug on. Catholic? 
I don't know if I knew words at this point. I think I was a you only knew you only knew slug torture. I was a late learner. Yeah, slug torture was my was my. Uh, you should have chosen that as your band name. I think yeah. slug, slug torture. torture. An amazing yeah. experiment. Slug torture. Um, it's Good Friday. Song. Happy Good Friday uh, to anybody who celebrates. Happy Bad Friday to those who don't celebrate and forgot oh, that the grocery yeah. store is closed today and is going to be eating butter noodles for dinner tonight. Yeah. Um, Do you want to like get something off your chest there? Or? No, I don't actually. No? Oh, okay, um, yeah, that's fine. But I was going to ask, uh, can you describe what your ideal Friday is? What is the best Friday that you could ever have? It, it, I know it's probably this, but like if you could be a little bit more creative. I'd like to learn to sail. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just sailing all 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 Friday. Well, I, I don't know how yet, so it might take more than just a Friday. But I think you could do it. Like you would spend your ideal Friday is like learning how to sail all day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You could do that in a Friday. What kind of would you have a sandwich at any point? I don't I don't really think about it. It's kind of like an abstract dream, you know. <laughs> would you have a sandwich at any point while you're like learning? Yeah, and maybe. What would the sandwich be? I think like um like rye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you want, man? What we got a rye hater me? over here. He also hates yeah, having third so arms. <laughs> yeah, he just hates everything. He's just here to antagonize me. This yeah. is why we're kicking you out of the band. <laughs> yeah, at our next show, uh, we're going to kick Dunty out of the band. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's because he, yeah. Yeah. I just associate, like, being on the water all day with, like, having a sandwich with chips in it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's something you ever grew up having, but okay. I, I grew up having sandwiches. But, like, only, like, during the summer... And only when like we like went to the lake or something, mm. and yeah. it was always sandwiched with chips. Did you ever think about drowning? You know, oh, sometimes I worry about it. I guess, but That's I haven't. It, I haven't really like run into that issue a lot. In the same way that I haven't run into like a lot of issues with like quicksand. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I took a lifeguarding course in high school. Would you believe it? I have a septum ring now, so things have really turned around for me. But yeah. Um, yeah. Would and it, it weigh you down, make you sink. The septum you know? ring. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a fish hook or. Something. I don't no, know. No, no. Yeah. Uh, I would also like to request privacy at this time uh, for the family. Um, would anybody else like to describe their ideal Friday? Um, I think I want to learn how to sleep without waking up. That's uh, just dying. That's yeah, passing that's away, dying. I think. No, 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 no. There's, there's more to <laughs> one day, one day you can learn how to do the big sleep. I have great news for you. Everybody's <laughs> required to learn how to sleep without waking up yeah. at some point you in their life. You do it by someday. accident, like, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, most of the time, they don't even want to learn how. And they well, do anyway. okay, my, my, my Friday is a little bit longer than that. Yeah. But uh, I want to be able to uh, not, like, kill my arms so I don't wake up. Like, which arm? My arm, do you ever wake up and you, you can't move your arm? No, I mean, which one? The baby the arm. Third the one, third the one? one? Yes, okay. The baby that's what one? Yes, the baby was. That's the answer I was looking for. No. See, it's just all problems with this third arm. Yeah. yeah. It's, pr- it's, not an, it's not a problem that you wouldn't have with your regular arm. Yeah, yeah. and now it's another one. Like. Yeah, but it can also do more stuff. Well, okay. that's why it's got to go on your forehead, so when you're sleeping, it doesn't, like, get under I anything. I sleep face and, down yeah. like a corpse. <laughs> all right, never mind then. <laughs> oh, no swearing, please. Yeah. No swearing. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Um, so I'll you put just a quarter in a jar later. Yeah. yeah. So, Callum, you want to you want to learn how to like sleep better? Like, do you wake up in the middle of the night? Do you sleepwalk? No, uh, no, I just can't use my arms when I wake up. Oh. they're just paralyzed. Wow. I look at them and I'm like trying for, so for hard to move hours. them, <laughs> and eventually they start moving again. That sounds like what is that sleep paralysis? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's not. not like. It's not sleep paralysis. Well, just it's regular like paralysis. Just yeah, morning just regular, paralysis. Regular. It's the blood is cut off from my arm and oh, it man. goes away. Mm. Mm. I feel okay. like more people have ha- like more people experience this than just me. I, I can move when I wake up. Yeah, yeah I don't know, buddy. Okay. Most I mornings up, I wake up and I, I think you're not crazy, in the morning. Actually. In the middle of the night, I realize I can't. Like I'm disabled, yeah. and I'm like, oh, that's man. sleep paralysis. Yeah, that might be. Yeah. Sleep it's paralysis. not sleep. <laughs> paralysis. Okay, then what the hat man? That's ex- you're asleep and you're paralyzed. <laughs> no, what else? He's like in such denial. <laughs> Callum, as someone that has <laughs> sleep paralysis, this is a safe space. You can. That's sleep paralysis. This is a safe space. My body, I can move. You just said you can't. Just my arm, my my baby arm. You ever take just your baby arm? Yeah. 15 Benadryl moment. Yeah, yeah see the hat man in the corner the of your room. Stuff. Yeah. You start saying questionable yeah, I stuff. I heard the hat mm-hmm. man's racist. Yeah, I've heard that yeah, too. What? I heard that he doesn't res- he, doesn't he doesn't respect <laughs> pronouns after 4:35 p.m. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. That's messed yeah. up. Yeah. Don't be like the hat man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Come on, man. You're already in my house. <laughs> so your ideal Friday is like not being paralyzed in your sleep. That's or so learning sad. how learning, learning just learning, learning like yeah. not actually doing I like it. To okay. learn. learning yeah. how to evade the hat man is an ideal friday i mean that's mm-hmm. fair you just don't 
take like eight Benadryls, I think. Yeah. That's right. I think they genuinely yeah. advise that you don't do that regularly. <laughs> I think we would all genuinely advise that you not do yeah, that. Yeah, do not regularly. take more than the advised amount of Benadryl. Yeah. Um, anybody else got an ideal Friday? I think my ideal Friday is maybe like April 10th. Oh, that's coming up. Ooh. Oh, but yeah. that's not a Friday. That's a Wednesday, though. That's your birthday, isn't it? None of your business. Whoa. <laughs> oh, April 12th, then. No, hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh it is April 12th. Yeah. No, He's yeah. still oh. learning to read calendars. So. Mm. I ain't got a calendar in front of me, brother. All right? Uh, I don't know. May 12th, maybe? May 12th, I think, is a Friday, isn't it? I don't think it is. Oh. It can be a Friday in your ideal can world. It can be a Friday. One, a Friday. one click. year, it will be. Yeah. 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 So right. yeah April 10th is my ideal Friday in, like... Like theoret, and not this year. It's okay. coming up. It's coming up. Yeah. It's coming up, Paul McCartney style. Yeah, yeah. What about April? What, what about April tenth is ideal? Uh, it's my birthday. Oh, it's Aww. your birthday. But it, if it lands on a Friday, okay. That's ideal. Yeah. Well, happy um early birthday. Thank That's you. really exciting. Um, <laughs> yeah, Hunter, ideal uh, Friday. Sitting in a basement for a long time. And what is a long time? Like the whole day? Yeah, yeah. What kind of basement? How about that. My, Where is the basement? My basement. Per, per chance? How high are the Can't just say per chance. Yeah, how high? So high. They're high. You don't even know how high this is. <laughs> how high is the Dante? Do you want to talk about ceilings basement for ceilings. the rest of this? Uh, I would yeah. love to. Yeah. I'd love to talk about ceilings. This one's pretty good. It's like average height, I think. Yeah. 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 It's about average. I know, I know a guy who's got a ceiling like this in his house. That's kind of crazy. School ceilings. I school ceilings. Is crazy. <laughs> Industrial ceilings in the house. Yeah. It's kind of Where I grew up in... The house that I grew up in, um, like out in the middle of nowhere, all of the all of the walls have wood paneling that come halfway up the wall, and then where the wood paneling stops, the ceiling starts technically because all the exterior walls curve up. What? Your they ceiling curved. starts on the wall. Yeah, you because live, it curves. Like a panopticon uh, or something. No, like? it used to be. Too my much parents ceiling. told me that it used to be a chicken coop. It was built like it was built in the 40s after World War II. You lived in Crazy. a chicken coop. I lived. I grew up in Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. You grew up in normal, right? I did. In normal, and then yeah. you're talking about your your walls curving up, and it was popcorn like... ceiling too to make it all the worse. Oh. Mm. And I had a bunk wall. bed. I know. And I had a bunk bed, and then I would like scratch my hand on all the time when I was making my bed. It was awful. You have free popcorn in your room. Yeah. I mean, that pluck it off the ceiling. Yeah. On hot days, does it all does it like get really like dangerous? <laughs> yeah, crazy. definitely. You have to have gla- goggles on at you all times. Replace the kernels. <laughs> definitely. Um, you mentioned that your ideal uh, day is April tenth, and then you said twelfth because that is this Friday, which is coming up very soon. But there's something else that's happening on April twelfth, isn't there? Oh yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We got a we got a show. A show. a show. You could that was a good transition. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Shout Holy out the transition though. department. <laughs> transition department. Working, working overtime. overtime. Segue than the guy that drove it off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> he died, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he died <laughs> that way. <laughs> Tell yeah. us more about this show. Where, oh. when, why, how? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about yeah. the guy that drove the Segway off the cliff. <laughs> 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 we got to show how, how easily it could stop, and he just drove it off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> no, our, sh- our show, our show. Who's the show with, Graham? You know. Um, I, a guy named Spencer. Yeah. Spencer. Awesome. Actually, I don't know if it's a guy, but a person named Spencer. Spencer. Yeah. Shout out Spencer. They were just added to the bill, and added we didn't know. And, That's super um, exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Best shows happen that way. Yeah. We hope so. Yeah. We hope so. yeah. Uh, Where is it going to be at? It's going to be at a place called the Golden Apple on Weber Street in Kitchener. But I, I, I is don't that how you say it? The Golden Apple. Weber? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's Oh, my God. That's how we can I ad- wait, um, can I admit something on, on air right now? Okay, so you like, say Weber? Yeah. Well, that's what I, Okay, here's the thing. Are you I gr- so, like I said, first of all. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Second of all. <laughs> going right with the jugular. <laughs> I, Sassy band. I don't, oh know if, I don't know if I want to. Yeah, it's not a safe space. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Hey, my, my bad. It's fine. I was just going to say something that I think is kind of silly. So, like I said, I, I grew up in the States. I didn't grow up, and none of my, I'm Canadian, but none of my family is in Ontario. And um, I remember like going to, to Toronto for like one of the first times. And you know, this like very famous intersection, it's called Young. Dun, Dundas? That's young how you pronounce it? Yeah, Young yeah. and Dundas. Do you want to know how I thought that you were supposed to say that? Young. Younga Dundas. <laughs> I liked oh. for I'm a bit. I never Dundas. said it out loud because I knew that it was wrong. Yeah. Mm. Um, Spadina is also one that makes me upset. And, and Weber is another one that I'm like, why? How else would you pronounce Spadina? Weber. Did you Sp- know how to read Spadina? Spadina. 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 That's plausible. Yeah. And yeah, also Islington. I hate Weber. Islington. Why isn't it Islington? 
What Isn't are we it doing? Islington? No, it's, no, it's Islington. Islington. Oh, okay. I'm okay then. It's, well, you don't take the subway, Toronto boy. I don't, man. You don't hear the subway to say <laughs> I, just, I just take like six hours of transit for one hour of class, man. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I don't live there anymore. That's tough. To That's be fair, brutal. when you take the bus, the the TTS lady says Weber, the robot, says yeah. Really? Weber. Yeah. Okay. They changed it here. recently. She's from like the robot factory. Yeah. yeah she's probably. from Illinois. Just like, just like you. Yeah. Just like you, Glenn Pump. Um, so you have a show on the 12th of April yeah, at the Golden Apple yes. on Weber Street. Yeah. Um, are there any tickets that we should be aware of? Yeah. Yeah. Here's. Let me read. Let me read the bitly out loud. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, do you want me to? Yeah. Like recite a hyperlink. Or, uh, I would like you to tell me where we can find tickets. Oh yeah. That's a good question. Can you verbally install a virus? We just changed. We just changed our Instagram at what is it now? I think it's it's, it's just, a, just amazing experience. Amazing, just amazing experience. experience. There's, like a, there's experience. an underscore somewhere, bro. Well, in the middle. In the middle, yeah, yeah you're right. Where, okay. where else? I'm just double checking. Uh, yeah, if you go to our Instagram. Um, at amazing experiment. At amazing experiment. Yeah. Or is it amazing underscore experiment? Uh, I it believe is. it's amazing underscore experiment. I thought it was okay, still on Instagram. Dendo crazy, no? no. <laughs> oh, <that> <laughs> there was the whole sign changing business. What are you on Spotify? Oh. Uh, amazing experiment. Yeah. No underscore. No underscore. No underscore. I think I think Instagram requires you to have an underscore. Yeah, I don't well, have an underscore in my hand. Experiment without an underscore they, was taken was the reason that we put it with an underscore. Us? Yes, Graham. They it just means that somebody else are, had, a, had an amazing experiment first. Yeah, but they're losers. Yeah, Ooh. they must Probably be. Not amazing. Yeah, they don't even wear like yeah. jumpsuits. I bet exactly. they're, they're not even radio. They mail them a letter or something. Yeah. Well, we have 20 minutes left in our program. Amazing experiment will be performing at the Golden Apple on mm-hmm. April 12th. In or Kitchener. In Kitchener on Weber Street. Um, you can find them at amazing underscore experiment on Instagram or search amazing experiment on Spotify. Do you have any final messages you would like to give to the audience before you jump back in and play us out? The car. Um, I think we have a car message. Yeah, we oh, okay. Yeah, please oh, share that with us. Special message from the car. Oh, yeah. This is for you. Is that, mm, can you hear that? Yeah. It's pretty good. That is very good. Did you like it? it no, well, it's not over. Oh my bad. Well, now it's over. Did you like it? Yeah, we I did it. like it. We liked it a lot. That's, uh, that's from Nick Tutsinger. That's Shout out friend. to Nick yeah. Tutsinger. Shout out to Nick Tutsinger. Nick. Thanks, he's Nick. Our, he's our biggest fan. Yeah, he did the he, logo for our. Yeah. Our, Everybody our send too. him money. Yeah, just okay. Yeah. I'll verbally read, read out his read Venmo. Venmo now. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing the next couple songs. Amazing experiment is going to be playing us out. So please enjoy. Are we hitting next? La 
all we have for you right now. You don't have one more song for us? No? What do you want to play? You can play it. We've got a, we've got a couple. We got a couple potential ones. Potential gotta, candidates. Yeah. Barber Pink. Do we really want to play no. Barber Pink on the <laughs> no, radio? No, we don't. No. This is our big moment. Yeah, do we want to go for species music? <laughs> some of them aren't friendly. Some of them aren't very, uh, aren't very friendly. They're not friendly. They're not very friendly. But uh, you don't sing in them. No. No, we don't. It's but not about that. It's, it's just... not about the... Okay. Okay. How it's portrayed. How it goes in your ear. All right, how about you guess which song we play? Me? Yeah, guess. Guess. Yeah, guess. Like, is this multiple choice? Like, on a scale of one to ten. Yeah. What is ten? <laughs> like the song we play. Oh, um, um, I think three is a good number. All right, I think I think we know what to play. What? I think we'll just play some species music. Okay, yeah, let's right, go yeah, species we'll, we'll music. play some species music. Yay! We'll see how it goes. Well, it's, I gotta uh, get up. Uh, no promises on how this is gonna be, but um, I think it'll be fun. We're still working on this 96? one. Is the all right? Thing. It's like yeah. sound you can hear, so well, may, may as well put it out there. May as well. Is it ninety-six? Yes, it is. So make sure not to not do it. Is that you making like Godzilla noises? <laughs> yes, it's yeah. been making Godzilla. Noises. Sometimes I do that. That's okay. Do that there. Yep. Thank you for your patience. Okay.
that's it. 